So now in this video we're going to look at the toggle switch. The toggle switch that I have is a single pull. So you can see we got one line there that uh, we're connecting to ground in this video. Uh, but it has a double throw. So single pull, double throw, that's the type of switch we're using here. You'll usually see that abbreviated as SPDT. There's also double pull, double throw, DP, DT, all kinds of other versions. But uh, this is what we got here. Single pull, double throw. So what it does is it takes that common terminal and it either connects to one of the other terminals or the other terminal one or the other I should say so in this case that LED will be on because we have a current path there from the positive supply to ground when the switch is closed in that position whereas uh, we have the other position here we switch that now that LED will turn on when the switch is in that position when it's closed it's open to the other side whichever uh, side you're looking at right there that is closed. So, in any case, I have one from a, a kit I got a long time ago. So the middle terminal there is the or a common terminal. Usually you call them, and uh, sometimes there's a C there or something. This one doesn't have it, but that's usually common. And I don't know what those other two poles might be labeled at. Uh, we'll probably look at that in another video. But there you can see we got the LED down there is uh, lit up. Positive supply coming to the LED. And uh, so there you can see when the switch is in that position, we have our connection right there. Pretty straightforward. I'll uh, flip the switch, and you can see that the other LED comes on right there. So it's uh, making a connection over there between those two. Now that one is just floating. And by the way, I just took uh, alligator clips and uh, quickly clipped uh, two of the terminals. These are not uh, going to handle the voltage and current that the switch will You probably want to keep these uh, below one amp of current. This switch can handle 15 amps of current up to 250 volts. Again, this insulation is not very thick. You would not want to uh, go that high in voltage either. Plus there's exposed metal. And of course, if you had a high voltage with this, you would have this in a box or something with a plastic giving you a big space uh, right there. But in uh, any case, we're not going to worry about that anymore. We're just doing a demo of a low uh, power circuit. So I wrote down here that uh, these switches, they're either uh, break before make or uh, make before break. One of those two states. So there's a problem if uh, you have a circuit where these two terminals can never connect together. Sometimes the switches, if you put them halfway, they'll connect together. So we're going to test that out. I'm going to uh, slide it halfway. And if they both turn on, then it is a make before break. It makes connection to one uh, before it breaks to the other. So it will make a connection to both of them. Here you can see both of the LEDs are off. So it's a break. It's a broke, or it was broke before it went to the other LED. But it went so fast you might not be able to tell. So I'm going to put it the other way. And you can see that it uh, breaks the one connection before it makes the other right there. Hopefully you could see that. So, in any case, uh, this is my short video series. I'm surprised this video was actually as long as it was. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.